Hey guys, it's your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we are back and better than ever. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that not only you guys could benefit from, but I could also benefit from myself which is how to be a better person. And by all means, guys, I just wanna let you know, I am not perfect myself. You know, I made mistakes, I'm flawed. And you know, I still have things to improve on. But I also guarantee most of the people watching this video are flawed, also have mistakes that they made and aren't perfect, which makes this topic even more perfect because everyone has at least one thing they can improve upon, whether it's financially, whether it's socially, whether it's with relationships or even their own personality. But without being said, I'm going to show you guys different things that I've learned throughout the 19 years of my life. Once again, these are like very basic tips and like things that I use and I'm still improving upon them. But hopefully you guys could take something from it and, you know, enjoy the advice. So let's get right into it. The first thing I learned is to do less talking and to do more listening. This is a skill that's very vital and I feel like a lot of people overshadow it because they think it's so easy to do. And in reality, they don't put it in their heads. I don't know about you guys, but when I grew up, maybe I was a little bit stubborn or I was just clueless, but I didn't really listen to that much advice, I'd say. You know, I would be more in my own head, not as an egotistical thing, but like I was just very clueless to everything. But the more you kind of just pause and you think about the things around you, like the advice that your parents give you, your friends give you, they may not be right all the time, but they're, they're they have good advice. They have good intentions to tell you to do things to do better. The biggest problem for why people don't listen is probably ego because you just can't take advice from certain people, which is something you have to get past. You can't stick to your own opinion all the time. If you only listen to yourself and stick to your own opinion and not let anyone else give you advice to better yourself, then you are going to have a biased mindset and not grow. So that's why everyone preaches it all the time. That's why teachers say it all the time. Active listening, listen to your classmates. It's very basic stuff, but trust me, a lot of people think they do, but they just don't do it. They just think that their mindset and their opinion is right and that is final. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be tip one. We're gonna move on to the next tip. So the second thing I would like to share is to not be held by your past and to be okay with your current self. Now, most people, if not all, have at least one thing in their past that they just cannot get past and they're held by it, which doesn't allow them to change and improve themselves for the better. This could be because of a mistake they've done in the past or some sort of expectation they feel like they can't meet. Everyone here is the, oh, you know, there's no point of thinking about it because it's in the past type thing. Well, realistically, you know, you can't really say that because I've, I've learned that myself. You can't really say that to yourself or other people because it just doesn't work like that. But it's more of understanding what happened and accepting it and moving on from it because at the end of the day, it's not really going to benefit you no matter how hard you think about it. unless you solve it in the moment or you could solve it. Then, I mean, why not try it? But if there's nothing you could do about it, like absolutely nothing, then the only thing you could really do is accept it. And if that doesn't work, which happens most of the time, then getting busy is probably the best thing you could do. Working on yourself does wonders, you know, maybe doing schoolwork, maybe doing job related stuff, maybe going to the gym, maybe even starting your own journal or reading a book. Simple things that you could do every single day, one by one, really helps. Now, the point isn't to forget, but just to come to terms with yourself and realize that it's okay of what happened. Because I know a lot of people are probably going to beat themselves up about this sort of thing because everyone has their own problems. But at the end of the day, no matter what problem it is, it just has to come to terms. You know, you have to eventually be okay with it because it's never going to stop, you know, and, and that sort of thing is going to eat you up for the rest of your life and you want to live your life. The third thing I'm going to be talking about is something I feel like we all could definitely improve upon, which is being open about new things. This could be watching a new movie recommendation, listening to new music, eating another person's cultural dish, or even listening to an opinion that goes against yours. I think the beauty about exposing yourself to new things is that not only do you learn, but I feel like you expand your mindset as a person. Plus, it's kind of fun to try all these new things. An example could be trying your friend's cultural foods, like for example, like a dessert. If they give it to you, you would never deny because first of all, that is very rude. And you know, it's, it's new. It's something that you are open to trying. Even maybe if you don't feel like it's as appetizing, I think giving it a shot is still worth it. Your friend will definitely respect you a lot more if you do that sort of thing. Plus, you may even like it. Another example could be being into anime. I know a lot of my friends previously did not like it, 
But now that they got into it, they are so invested into it just because they were open minded to this new idea. And the thing is, if you don't like it, you don't like it. The point is, is that you gave it a shot and it was worth doing it in the meantime. It doesn't hurt to try and it benefits everyone. My fourth and final point is something I feel like not everyone talks about and I don't hear it that often, but it's to express yourself no matter what. When people talk about their own passions and they express their emotions a lot, I think they're genuinely really cool people. I really admire when people just talk endlessly for hours about the one thing that they really enjoy. And you know what? If it's someone that I'm just introduced to or it's a friend that I know for a long time, then I know that they're keeping it real with me. I think you should never hide how you are as a person or the things you like. If you're too scared to think about what other people will think about your own interest or how you are as a person, then I feel like that's already a problem in itself. Because over time, you're going to be very unhappy with the environment you're putting in, and eventually you're going to break. Surrounding yourself with people who can express the same way could also better you as a person because, you know, you're surrounded by the same environment. Which will allow you to be more open with your feelings and always stay true to yourself. But once again, this is just stuff I learned throughout the years, so if you guys want to listen, that's up to you, and see what works. But yeah guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it down below, I would love to read them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.